Hello everybody, welcome back to yet another episode of HBM Mod. Last episode we tackled backlight automation and uh I mean it it, it just works, so okay. We are we are producing the backlight now. Uh I got some more petroleum gas we need to dispose of today from this other cracking tower and also unsaturated hydrocarbons. So we're gonna be taking care of that today. So let me go ahead and show you all how this is done. So we need an input side on this one, accessible, an output side for items, and uh, you'll probably also want one of these for cabling, and then you don't need anything else on this. I th think that's how I'm gonna do this. And this is just gonna connect into the nearest cable. AKA, the cable right over there. <laughs> or this one, I mean. But I we're gonna go with this, the, the nearest cable is being this one right here. Too far away, you kidding me? This is like right here. It could probably connect to the one if I put it right there, which is stupid, but uh, I mean, hey, it, it's, it just is what it is. Ugh, holy crap, I actually made that jump. That is amazing. Steve Minecraft cannot, actually, Steve Minecraft can really jump. If you think about it, Steve Minecraft is jumping a meter, and I can't even jump a meter in real life, so that is actually impressive. Like, I can jump a cinder block, but not a meter. That's, that's impressive. Like, a cinder block's impressive. Anything higher than a cinder block, that's impressive. Bro is literally jumping half his own height. What the heck? But if you think about it, Steve also can carry, like, what? Six billion kilograms of stone? How the heck does he manage to carry 64,000 cubic meters of stone in his inventory? Like, what the heck? How you do that? Bro must have never skipped leg day, bro. And he's able to jump three meters while doing it. <laughs> you know, I think it'd be kind of cool if a weight system got added to Minecraft. You know, like if somebody made a mod that adds a weight system. What the heck? Oh, right, get out of here, mate. Bruh. Bruh. What the heck? Oh, you want to get inside? You want to get inside the machinery? Here, I'll help you out. The heck? <laughs> you know what? It's a, it's a jumping donkey. I, I like this new attraction in our base. We're going to leave it. I'm not going to exterminate him like I did with the other horses. Because, uh, hey, don't ask. I think this guy is funny. Funny fella. Right, I came in here to make a template. <sighs> so I need to make a template today. Fun. That we got any bone meal. Yeah, we do. Always got bone meal. Let's go. So we're making a template, which the template's gonna be four. C4, because I like compos- Actually, we need to make rubber instead. I don't care how fun C4 may be. Rubber is also important, though. But I do want to make C4. And you know how we're going to make this rubber? Well, we're going to use sulfur from, um... The refinery, I think. <laughs> Which is a stupid idea. But it is possible that we could take... The, um, and the reason it's stupid is because you don't get much sulfur from this. So, there is 16 sulfur in there. And how are we going to get that out of there exactly? I am not even sure. The only way we could get it out is if we take it out this way and use some jank conveyor belt system to do it. But I think we can do it, and if anybody can do it, it's going to be me. So, now this unclogs the oil, Derek, so our cartridge is being used. And this will, um... Make rubber, or C4, depending on which recipe you run. C4 is very useful. Like, even though it's explosive and doesn't have much use, like, or seems to not have much use on your own, what C4 is good for is for mining. You can expose a huge amount of area, like, just dirt if you, like, build up high enough, build a pillar, blow it up. Yep, you've, uh, you've, uh, uncovered an area. Useful stuff. That's that's the usage of it. 
And the other thing we need to deal with is the petroleum gas from this guy. So we're going to take care of the petroleum gas first, because that is going to be the first problem in getting this thing to run. So we're going to build out a year. We're going to build a pathway from that one to this one. The conveyor belt can go right next to this one when we make the conveyor belt, which we're not doing that yet. We're about to do that because we got rubber. And let me tell you all the joy about having rubber. You can make conveyor belt real cheap. It is using a lot of energy. So that's the next agenda for us is fixing our energy vacation problem. We're going to make a turbine next episode. <laughs> we're going to we're going to make the solar plant get an upgrade and we're going to start running the steam in a turbine instead of that thing. And then you'll all see how good turbines are compared to engines. So to begin this process, we take the six rubber, run them like this. Boom. Next stage. We now can use the ejector and inserter, which I don't think you need an inserter for this part. So technically, we're going to add a buffer between the inserter and the actual thingy, the chemical plant. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and make this. We're going to make a crate. Not like that. That That's not how you make a crate. That's just how you make an 8 iron ingot box. It, that, is, that is not even a crate. But this is crate. So this is, this is going to be just crate. So we're going to go like that. Boom. And I think we're going to go like this. And probably put another one in on top of this. And then we'll make a shaft that goes down. We don't need one that goes up, technically. And then from here, we'll just run it out like this. And I don't have a screwdriver on me, but I'll make that happen. Um, we'll go out like this. Boom, boom, boom. And then we'll run it straight down that way to the next one. And I think that should do the trick for our conveyor belt. Actually, hang on. We could do that even better. Technically, we don't even need to do all that stupid nonsense. That says extra. That is that is not necessary. We can actually run it on top of this guy and save even more, I think. We'll have to... No, we don't even need to worry about this. So we'll have this guy face upwards... And uh, that should do the trick. And it looks nice. Main reason to do it, it looks nicer. It doesn't actually save us anything, I don't think. Oh, so a shoot is made using grates and iron ingots. Just looked at that. And we have the grates here. We need four grates for making two times that. We have even more conveyor belts. I didn't need to make the conveyor belts. I'm sorry, guys. I, I messed that up. I didn't need to use the rubber. I just wanted to use the rubber, actually, since we just got rubber. <laughs> that's that's the main reason I chose to use rubber for the conveyor belts, is that we just got rubber, and I just wanted to show you all the joy of making them. Oh, my gosh. What the heck is that sound? Sorry. That's 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 a weird sound. I'm not sure I quite like that one. <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. Okay, let's let's get back to this. Uh, so yeah, we need to put this in here. Boom! That's the rubber. I mean, that's conveyor, but that's conveyor chute, and that's gonna go and run the stuff into the thing. And does that even work? Does that even eject? It does not eject, or does it eject? It just doesn't have the, the stuff in there to eject it yet. So we need to make these into the conveyor pipe piece, like that. That's the conveyor piece done. And then we gotta build the pathway down. After we make this thing look all good and jolly. I am messing up with these today, but I think that's the connection we need. Which should do the trick. One, two, three, four. Done. And we have a little extra, which is fine. That's the... Oh my gosh, that looks pretty good, I think. And then... We need to dispose of the net light oil. So we can see what happens when this thing shoots out sulfur. Which I... We've... I've been meaning to do this... The, 
disposal of the light oil, but I haven't done that because I've been too preoccupied dealing with the other parts of the oil setup. But anyway, what you need to do to dispose of light oil is either automate your dash production, which you can do if you get uh, either a drill or, I mean, you could just do it manually, like manually insert the um, dash blend that you need, but I think the way we're just going to do it is we're going to dispose of it by storing it, which is not the optimal solution to the problem. It's, in fact, the worst solution to the problem. However, it is a solution to the problem, which is all that matters. doesn't matter if it's optimal or not. Well, it is technically optimal. I, I like that solution the best because it's the easiest one. Now, this will make sulfur, and the sulfur got ejected. Sulfur got ejected, dude. <laughs> it used to never do that before. Thank goodness that got fixed. And, but that is not in this update. That was another update. But anyway, that should have gone down to here. And look at it. Rubber. Let's go, dude. It's... Oh, it's automatic rubber, dude. It's automatic rubber at long last. And it's, it's just the perfect amount of rubber. Like, it's the perfect amount of sulfur production. It will always have sulfur in there. At least one piece of sulfur. That is impressive. I am happy with that. Like, I am ecstatic about that, actually. That is... Amazing. I know that didn't get changed in this update, but that is an amazing change. The change I'm referring to is the fact that you can actually use the ejectors on this. Back in, back in the day, you couldn't use them. Uh, the conveyor ejectors on it, it just didn't work. But now, now it is actually amazing. I like that. And there's not, I don't really have any anything to say about making it better. There's no way you can make that better. That is, the refinery is perfect now. Uh, unless, maybe there is a way to make it better. I don't know. But I, I don't, I couldn't think of a way to make it better. Plus, it's not my job to do so. <laughs> Only one slight problem. Why are we having bitumen? Build up over there. It's because the crude oil is backed up. So we need a buffer for crude oil. And that's, it's causing our naphtha to back up, I think. Oh my gosh, I fell in this pit again. You kidding me? Let me get up there and see what's going on with the naphtha. Naphtha needs to get disposed of, the, the diesel needs to be disposed of. Which, we need to make a generator for that. So diesel doesn't burn as good as it combusts. That's one thing you should know about diesel. It's just not good for, like, burning. I mean, you can burn it. That's, that's amazing. I love burning diesel. But the problem is that it's just, it's just not good when you burn it. That's my problem. I'd much rather burn a fuel because it's easier to get a uh, turbine or a steam engine to run on steam from burning fuel than it is to make it the actual generator that does the combustion stuff. But we're going to take care of the combustion generator since that is the right way to do it. And we're not going to go ahead and do any wacky nonsense. Uh, except this thing is kind of annoying. So take a look at that recipe. What things do you see that I hate? Well, first and foremost, this thing. Integrated circuit board. It's going to be a pain in the butt. Second thing. There is no second thing. And then we're going to make... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, iron plates. And then we're going to make 12 steel plates, which is amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we're going to just smash them up. Boom. What's next up on the list of things to make is dense gold coil, which takes one gold ingot per coil. It can be made on the welder. So if you take an ingot, you can just weld it together. I like that. That actually is going to be the simplest way of doing things, in my opinion. So how many do we need? We need about six of them, don't we? So six ingots worth of gold. Which this is a... Th look at this. So this is a few more steps. You have to use a stamp for this, but technically, eventually it just becomes you can just use an anvil for this, so you don't have to worry about this step. But automa to automate the production of these dense gold coils, or gold wires, which you, you should do at some point, you will use a crucible for that. Which is the optimal way of doing it. Uh, automating it. Because eventually you're going to need to automate that. It's one of those things that you just have to automate eventually. Also, this uses a ton of energy. <laughs> See what I mean? That is uh, kind of stupid to just use that for, uh, you know, 
And now we have to wait for that to recharge. I think make, maybe the arc welder using the arc welder was a mistake this time. <laughs> yep, it was. Well, we do have... We did need one of those. And once we have one of them, that means we can just make the rest of it on the crucible. And we can just smelt up the gold wires back into ingots. I, I think that might actually be able to happen. Uh, or we could just hold on to gold wires, because they are useful for something. Or something are... Yeah, they are useful. Yeah, we'll just hold on to those. Uh, we'll need to make more gold, though. Hold on. Actually, let's see if we can smelt them down. I don't know if we can. I've never tried smelting wires into ingots before, so... Yeah, it's gonna be a new thing for me. Uh, get all that flux out of there. Do we have more flux in there? Yep, we do. Get all that garbage out of there. And, uh, let's go ahead and cook up some gold. Oh, it does work. And that will be an ingot, right? And it's got one nugget. Yeah, so that will make ingots. So you can turn wires into ingots using the crucible. I did not know that. 